feeling good about that. I feel much better about the, I like, the Rel. I like the Rel. I, I like the Lulu as well a little bit, but you don't have a lot of great activations outside of the Poppy. I also just think the Lulu is not very good right now. Yeah. So I'm kind of okay with this whole situation. Is uh, we do have some solo lane Yordles hitting the Rift here. Damage. Juan's going to turn up. Beryl just in position. So this dragon is just going to be taken. And DRX now in just a weird spot. Out of range as explosive charge. Does a little bit of damage there, but not too much to closer. As in goes Willa. They're looking for Juan, and he is going to get the Buster Shot to help him out, but there's a Glacial Prison, and that is going to mean First Blood, although Closer in a little bit of trouble here. Flawless Duet. Just Harold. to make... That's a big old shield. He's feeling all right. Doesn't have his Magnet Storm available again, though, as the helicopter will strike. That does get rid of the jungler, and that means they're able to take this one, but... Speaking of abductions, Rascal is going to be taken into the entire enemy team, and he will be eradicated. Daisy not going to make it out alive. Right, I'm all top. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Everybody's coming up. It's a uh oh, rat. Barrel got to be careful. Yeah, that is the Magnus Storm. Is he being careful or is he just going in? It's the Barrel way. They lock down the Aurelia. Rocket jump to get Fade in even closer. And that's another one. The puppy goes down. But I think Rascal was living his best life before he went down. Fate. He's going to try and do the same thing here as, oh, the sidestep. God, just doesn't matter. He's Dante. And that is going to be Bertle locking down. I mean, fantastic trade here for Liv Sandbox. Not only that, but they also got the teleport with it too. So this is so much map control they're going to gain. And DRX are so far away, as you mentioned, from getting that soul. The one hex tech Drake alone isn't going to bomb. It'll be fun. Never mind. Um, we are going to see DRX move towards the top side. Kyle is caught backing. Oh dear, does manage to channel the quickness. As now Daisy's getting amongst it. We do have the ulti come through from Closer. Can he find more as Beryl gets the trigger C, but it's not going to work. And was it just a genius bait from Kyle? Or is the rest of his yeah, team? Wheeler has for him. And it's just, uh, it's not working out. And Rakan has a very wide escape He's hitting the turret. All right, Cassante, can He's doing you it. do it? As Rascal's going to move in and realizes that he has a thorn mail and a dream, and his turret is still going to go down. Cassantes are killing too many turrets. I think if they don't actually start to threaten sides. Oh, Beryl has crashed down, and I don't know whether this is where he wanted to land, as Daisy is going to get involved. He's tanky, but not tanky enough. Does find a Magnet Storm, so there's a bit of value there. But Moonlight Vigil now going to fly forward. I think it just barely missed. There's the Vanguard's Edge flying through Juhan. Going to have to flash over that wall as Kyle threatening with the quickness. Does find the last section. The grand entrance is gorgeous, but it's just not good enough. Not enough damage. Oh, kind of baited. Trade this for Baron, and they just don't have the ability to do so. They don't have the damage right now. If they had a little bit more time, they could maybe, but the rest of DRX are just grouped on this, so it's just really difficult. And with the Aphelios' help, they can rush down this dragon fast. It looked kind of cool, and then it really wasn't. As DRX, they know exactly what's going on here. Faking a move on over as Juhan going to be knocked back in. They have no interest in this Baron as Juhan takes a long time to root collar his way over. Fate is going to pick up a kill onto the Cassante, and now they're looking to try and pressure ever further forward. Paddock is just a monster, but he will get snared up by Teddy who is now walking the wrong direction. You may have got a Baron, but you are not going to stay alive. That was so cute, getting the heroic charge from the other side of the wall. You love to see it from Rascal. Pile is now Daisy's getting involved. The Drake outside of the pit. Probably going to be a 50-50 for the Soul Point. We'll see who's actually able to win this Pile. fight. It is going to be the Ivern picking it up. And look at this. You were talking about a meat grinder. My god, the damage. But the Rel is already taken out. Teddy doing so much work. He grabs another one, and there's Closer collecting a kill for himself also. And DRX, they oh. flop. So he's got the right guns for this fight. Barrel's got the setup for the engage. He has Flash. Let's see how good it is, DRX. Let's see that coordination. Kyle again on the flank. He is wrapping around, looking for that opportunity to get in. Barrel wants to spot him out. Glacial Prison goes completely wide. The ulti comes forward from Rascal. Is now Teddy is going to be dove on top of the Moonlight Vigil. Comes on in there. It is going to be the secure of the Baron by Willa. But is it going to work out as all red? It's closer being able to do so much work in this fight. The flawless duet comes out. It is red and white guns, but I guess we're happy to. Oh, never mind. Paddock stays alive. Red and white, man. He pushed that ammo through right before the Rex in this team fight. Baron was secured, but deleted now as well. As Teddy's also over the wall. 
Uh, uh, I mean, I'm trying to explain it, not really getting there. <laughs> we're there, trying. There's now potentially a team fight. <laughs> I'm going to focus on that one instead. Feral isn't going to have Magnet Storm for it, although it is on a very low cooldown. Daisy's going to pop out, looking for Bertol here as Teddy's going to very Hextech early Soul. on. And as Hextech Soul with four dragons is stacked up, but that's it, here. inside the team fight. He's right in amongst everyone. The GA is being popped. He's going to come back up again, and the Blade Call is snapped through him. It's a double kill for Teddy. In any ways, they just forced it. They could have just walked away, but they lose the fight, and it looks like Luke Sandbox might just have enough to end this game. They're at least going to get this inhibitor here, and they're they're feeling the pressure of if we don't end this game soon, this Hextech Soul is going to be a huge problem for us, so at least the inhibitor will go down. Entrance there with the Steadfast presence, but man, there are some big health bars. Beryl, he wants to do something. He wants to, he wants to hit Bertle, and look, he's going to do it. He'll crash down now as well as the Grand Exit comes on in, and an even grander exit for Teddy as he is going to fly all the way back towards his base. It means Poppy's ult is now called up. A massive Q from Bertle is going to fly on in as the Ivan's going to be taken down. Moonlight Vigil, this time kind of massive. Oh. Oh, as the Severum's trying to do some work. Closer goes Golden. It is decent damage. His face trying to fight this one out. Can you actually guide this one? Oh man, I thought the rocket jump forward could have done it. But Teddy turns back up again, and Fate knows. As Fate is going to dive on top of him. That's a buster shot. He is going to get charmed over. Tristana and Rakan, both of them not here for this fight. Calibrum going to connect there. Fair bit of damage onto Teddy as Daisy's getting involved. Barrel with Flash! Kind of massive, and the Glacial Prison does nothing. All out into the back line as Paddock's just standing his ground against Bertle. Gets a big old shield, and he'll be A-OK. -okay. Barrel's going to go down, but now the Cavalry has arrived, even though the Cavalry just fell down. Willa now trying to escape as the Rakan still alive somehow. The rest of his team have been decimated, and Wolf. I have a feeling that TRX may win the game. It looks likely. 40 seconds to no chance. Barrel finally gets the flash engage he's been waiting for for so long. And it looks like TRX are going to win their second series of the LCK tonight. There Kyle just can watch on. He's going to try for it as these Nexus turrets not long for the world. You're looking cool there, Kyle. But your Nexus is looking like it's going to be destroyed by TRX in a three-game series. And look at them lose their minds here because this is a punch-up from this squad that were careening. They managed to pick up a win though against Nongshim Red Force. We thought to ourselves, maybe, just 